Paul, we have some new developments tonight in the story of the mother who's accused of driving under the influence and causing the death of two of her kids as they tried to retrieve luggage from the 78 freeway. The mom appeared in court for the first time today and our Zara Barker is live in Vista with what happened inside that courtroom. Zara. Kasha, Andrew, it was another very emotional day covering this story, but now for the first time seeing the mom in person here inside of the courtroom in Vista. Now, in just about the last two hours, the judge has now ordered the release of 33-year-old Sandra Ortiz, but only under certain conditions. Some of those conditions include she cannot drink, she cannot drive, and she also cannot have any in-person contact with her four remaining children, except for the upcoming funeral for the two victims. <laughs> My baby, my baby. 33 year old mother of six, Sandra Ortiz, facing a judge on six felony counts Thursday, crying out for her kids. <laughs> On Father's Day, Ortiz pulled over to the shoulder of the 78 freeway after luggage fell off her car. That's when two of her kids, 16-year-old Amy Montserrat and 10-year-old Alan Gerardo, got out of the car to try and get the luggage when they were hit and killed by a driver in this Nissan Sentra. On the scene Sunday, Ortiz was arrested after authorities noticed she was slurring her speech and smelled of alcohol. In the courtroom Thursday, we learned the investigation shows so far that Ortiz did not try to stop her kids from getting out of the car, and she remained in the car herself. The defendant was driving with a blood alcohol level of 0.14 while having her six children unsecured, unseatbelted in the, in the car. Um, driving under the influence is, in and of itself, a public safety concern. Um, additionally, um, based on the investigation and the facts of the case, when the defendant pulled over, one fourth or essentially a quarter of her vehicle was still blocking the right lane. The deputy district attorney says under the conditions of Ortiz's release, she can only have phone contact with her remaining four children. She can't drive or consume any alcohol and can only see her kids at the funeral for the two victims. The people did feel that implementing a full uh, criminal protective order with limited exceptions to contact the surviving children um, was necessary at this juncture. The family has been without a permanent home for months, living between hotels. The defendant and her family just moved here from Arizona in December of 2022. It's my understanding that um, the children um, are not currently going to school, that there is no stable residence. And the family didn't have any statement to share with the media after the judge's order today that Ortiz can be released. We did um, get a chance to see them during the hearing today. You could see they were all visibly upset, many of them crying, especially as they saw Ortiz crying as well, crying out for her kids and seeing her in handcuffs as well for the first time. Now, if convicted, Ortiz does face up to 20 years behind bars. Live in Vista, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.